Mangalyaan, India's maiden interplanetary mission was launched on November 5th in 2013, staggeringly cheap by Western standards. It made India the first country to reach Martian orbit on its first attempt. Eight years later, a documentary has been made about what went on behind the scenes at the Indian Space Research Organization. Vion's correspondent Siddharth MP spoke to A.V. Anoop, the writer and producer of Yanam, to find out more. Take a look. This is based on uh, the book written by Mr. Radha Krishnan, uh, ex-chairman of ISRO. Uh, he has written a book called My Odyssey. Uh, from that only this idea came. It's not a feature film, it's a documentary film. It's only 44 minutes uh, duration. The challenge was getting access to all these important places like uh, Sri Harikota or Tumba, uh, Vikram Sarabhai Space Center and Bangalore headquarters. And also, we also went to the observatory, Kalavur in uh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, these are all the most important places. But uh, to our luck, all these uh, heads of all these uh, departments they are, they are being the part of uh, the movie. They supported us and uh, we got access to all the places and they provided the file stocks also. Their stock files also they provided. And uh, the Mangalian project time, what all happened, the, especially the tensionful movements before the launch and all, no, they provided the video. And so we could uh, include all those uh, uh, files into the movie. Uh, finally, we are uh, planning to launch it in, uh, through any OTT platform or YouTube also it will be available. And also we are willing to provide the content to masses wherever any, uh, any colleges or uh, anywhere we are willing to provide the content for masses to watch. My idea is not to make money out of this project. India's pride, the Sanskrit language, when he said such ancient language. So we thought this particular project, this, Ross, uh, this Mangalian project is also, is our pride, our India's pride. So when we make a film about Mangalian, let it be in our ancient language also. That's what I thought. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.